Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Now, first off, dude, I just want to apologize for this video being late. Let's just say, well, someone was threatening to fucking sue me because I made a video criticizing their channel where they harass people. You gotta love YouTube. YouTube 2016. I fucking love it. Who doesn't love YouTube 2016? I know I do. But today is a pretty special day because today, this channel officially hits 600,000 subscribers on YouTube. And man, it's a pretty big deal. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. No, it's a huge deal and I'm fucking hyped and look dude I know I don't take that many things serious on this channel and I joke around a lot But I just want to say a really serious. Thank you guys so much dude If it weren't for you guys I'd be out on the street right now in the rain and the cold rain behind the vending machines Sucking dick for fucking I don't know three gummy bears. Maybe maybe a two dollar bill Maybe like one or two Doritos. I mean you never know man, but <laughs> But seriously, guys, I just wanted to say a big fat thanks. It's crazy to see my channel growing this much. And I just have you guys to thank, so thank you guys so much. But today, I was talking to a few people on Twitter on what type of video I should make since I just hit 600,000 subs. And everybody was all like, Leafy, you've told stories about your family. You've told stories about you doing drugs, okay? You know, the big ones, meth, crack, heroin, all that lovely shit. But Calvin, Mr. Calvin... Have you ever told a story that involves YouTube? Did you ever meet a fan? Did you ever trip, fall in the sewers, and a uh, reptilian saved your life? Huh? Did that ever happen to you, Calvin, huh? Did it, faggot? So today I'm going to be telling you guys the first time I met someone that was a fan of my videos, okay? So without further ado, this is the Barack Obama experience. Sit back and enjoy, grab your popcorn, viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so the whole thing takes place back in PAX Prime, which was August last year. And at the point in time, I think I had about 100,000 subs, maybe even 200,000 to be honest. But in the beginning, I wasn't even planning on going to PAX because I had no one to go with. And on top of that, it sold out. But PAX actually reached out to me at like the last second saying, Oh yeah, you want to come? We'll pay for fucking, I don't know, everything. So I was like, well, I guess I'll end up going. So I ended up going to PAX Prime by myself. Because, well, I, I mean, the whole thing was free. But the, the experience at PAX was just awesome. I met so many different people, so many different YouTubers. It was just a great experience. But there was uh, one, one kind of awkward-ass experience. I mean, it was pretty fucking weird. But regardless, it all starts off one rainy day in the middle of Seattle. PAX Prime is going on. Everybody's happy. Everyone's cosplaying and shit. Little Calvin, of course, just walking around the convention, meeting people, having a good time. When he decides, uh, I think I'm pretty hungry right now. Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna go get some sushi right outside the, uh, convention center. Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna do that right fucking now. So I leave the convention center and go to this sushi place right outside, and I sit down and everything is all good. Until I notice someone. A group of people. One guy in that group. It's fucking staring at me. Now look, I've traveled quite a bit in my life, okay? I traveled throughout Europe for two months last year, and trust me when I say I've had people stare at me when they have no idea what I'm saying. That confused look when they have no idea what you're saying and they're trying to figure you out, right? That look when they look at you like, I don't know, you're a little bit different, like you're a little bit off. Like, not in a bad way, but like you're a foreigner, right? But this guy wasn't looking at me like I was a little bit off. He wasn't looking at me like, oh, what's that guy doing over there? This motherfucker right here was looking at me like, I don't know, I was a sandwich. Like I was a piece of meat. Like I was a warm hot dog. This guy was looking at me like he wanted to eat me. But I noticed this guy staring at me. And again, this isn't like, okay, he looks at me, I look at him, he looks away. He would look at me and I would look at him and he would continue to stare at me. But this goes on the whole time I'm eating my food. The whole fucking time. Every time I glance around, I notice this guy staring at me. And he has like this expression on his face like, no fucking way. No fucking way, that's a great looking sandwich right there. But yeah, this goes on for a bit when I start noticing that he's talking to his friends about me. He'll like look around, talk to his friends, and then his whole table will turn and stare at me for like at least 30 seconds and it's really fucking awkward and weird for me right now right but this goes on for a bit when the uh, just by far the most awkward thing happens okay after staring at me and talking about me for like i want to say 25 minutes he gets up from his table starts walking towards me and at this point in time it's really obvious that he's gonna talk to me but he walks over to my table until he's about five feet away from my table stops dead center like he's about to rethink his whole entire existence and then stares at me for about two more seconds turns around and walks back to his table and at this point in time, I'm like, dude, what the fuck is going on? But after this motherfucker walks back to his table, he sits there, he does the same thing. He keeps talking about me. I decide I'm done. I stand up. I go pay my bill. And I'm walking out of the restaurant when he walks in front of me. And like, like this is fucking Pokemon. And he's like, wait, 
are you like leafy is here like the, the, the youtuber and i was like oh yeah that's me and he's like dude i absolutely love your youtube videos they make me laugh so hard and <laughs> And then we just talk like normal human beings. I meet his friends and he's just overall a pretty cool guy. I mean, to this day, I still don't get why he was fucking like, like being so weird about it. Like he was acting like I was the fucking Kim Kardashians. Like he's going to approach me and I'm going to be like, oh, excuse me, I got some fucking retard in front of me. Please escort him out of here. <laughs> Dude, I make videos and I put them on YouTube. Like I'm not a fucking porn star. Jesus. And after this, the whole thing wasn't that bad, to be honest. It was just the fact that he was staring at me with his group of people. And at that point in time, I was by myself as well. So the whole thing was just really weird. And honestly, it could have just been a lot easier if he just approached me. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this story today. For all the people wanting more reaction videos, there's going to be one coming out tomorrow. It's just I wanted to do something kind of special because I just hit 600,000 subs. But thank you guys so much for all your support. And if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. And wait, what's that, Mr. President? What? They're going to be receiving a helicopter if they like the video? Well, I mean, the president just said if you like the video, you get a helicopter. But, I mean, who really trusts that guy? He kind of seems like a scammer. I mean, let's be real. But <laughs> Seriously, guys, thank you so much for 600,000. You guys are just the best. And thank you so much for all the support. Peace, peace, guys. Oh my god, you don't deserve 600,000. You're a shitty YouTuber. Le 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 leafy is here. More like le 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 leafy is queer. Uh, fuck you, dude. <laughs>